So this is QTech. This is a brand new mod pack from the maker of Age of Engineering, a expert mod pack from uh, 1.7.10. It's quite an old mod pack at, uh, at this point in time, but this is a, a brand new mod pack. It's 1.15.2, and it's a fairly small, uh, I think it has about 80 mods in total, so not a, uh, a massive mod pack, uh, but it's a very focused mod pack. So it's almost all tech mods, and it is kind of focused around progression, right? So all of the mods that are in the pack are kind of intertwined with one another to create a, a progression tree that works you through uh, to some of the uh, the final items in the pack. And uh, we do have progression in the form of advancement, custom progression that is, and we have the uh, QTech advancement tree. And uh, for example, if we look up uh, refined storage, which we do have in the pack, and let's say we wanted to make a refined storage controller, one of the first items you need um, if you're going to get into refined storage, the recipe looks fairly standard right now, but if you look at some of the, um, you know, sub recipes here, we need things like bismuth brass. If we're going to make that, uh, we need a block of quartz enriched iron, which looks fairly simple, but then you've got to make uh, the quartz enriched iron in either an alloy smelter or an alloy furnace from Blue Power or Silent Mechanisms, respectively. Uh, you then have things like the advanced processor uh, that is made, you know, in a disillusionment chamber with some pink slime and some plastic sheets. That recipe looks a little bit scary, but I think the uh, refined storage system is meant to be a little bit further on in the pack, and so it is behind some uh, slightly more difficult recipes. Um, however, the, pa the the CurseForge page does specify that this is not an expert pack. Despite the fact that uh, some of the recipes have been changed, and uh, there are some kind of a late game crafts, it's not an expert pack along the same lines as uh, something like Age of Engineering. They're not like super grindy recipes, and uh, so hopefully it's uh, not going to be quite, quite that bad, <laughs> but uh, but should still be interesting, should still allow us to, uh, to play around with quite a few of the uh, the 1.15.2 uh, tech mods that are in the pack, including some that I've not really had much of a chance to uh, to play around with. We have things like uh, Power, which uh, if I go to at Power, is a new Power mod that adds things like uh, energy cells and uh, generators, like whether it's a furnace generator called a furnator, or I believe they have a magma generator called a mangamator, which is <laughs> what I believe those are, um, with like energy cables and a bunch of other stuff that I've yet to play around with. Um, but we have things like um, silent mechanisms and uh, silent machines, which add new machines to the pack, you know, things like uh, that allow you to process ores or process liquids, uh, all that shenanigans. We do have mechanism of, as kind of that main, uh, like, tech mod that uh, everyone's familiar with, uh, and that has been ported to 1.15, so that should be uh, interesting as well. Uh, we've got things like uh, modular routers, which I've played with a little bit, uh, but not a whole lot. I believe we can use this to uh, to transfer things around and uh, and hopefully make our lives a little easier with um, with moving stuff about, potentially. We do have uh, refined storage, of course, and we also have RF tools, uh, as well as XNet, which I'm very happy about. I'm a big fan of uh, XNet. Uh, we do have Silent Gear. Of course, no Tinker's Construct yet for uh, 1.15.2, but Silent Gear does kind of fill that role. However, it has been pushed a little bit further into this mod pack with the uh, requirement that we get infused tessellite dust before we can make any of the blueprints uh, to actually get some of these custom recipes down, which of course means uh, getting into that metallurgic infuser uh, first, but hopefully that shouldn't be uh, too, too bad. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the end goal of this pack is to make the ultimate solar panel. And the reason that's the end goal is, I believe, just because it requires so much auto-crafting to get to this point. One of the big, like, focuses of this mod pack is trying to automate, like, everything along the way, right? Trying to automate all of the systems and all the resources that you're going to need so that you can actually craft one of these ultimate solar panels. Because, of course, to make it, you need eight of the previous tier, which needs eight of the previous tier, and then again and again and again, all the way down. And each one requires its own central solar core. These are made, you know, with super custom recipes and all these items we're going to have to automate and uh, collect. But before we get too far into the scariness of the super late recipes, let's just start from the beginning, shall we, with this new advancements tab. The uh, the first quest here is uh, Koze, make a campfire. So the campfire I don't think is too difficult to make, and uh, is a vanilla Minecraft item, of course. It is three sticks, three planks, and then one flint. Now, unfortunately, we don't have the uh, crafting station mod, so we are going to have to settle for a regular crafting table for the time being. However, I do think that one of the very first uh, things that the quest book wants us to uh, craft, and uh, by the way, it's L to open this by default. Um, I've re like, remapped mine, but uh, the default key there is, uh, is L if you're looking for those advancements. But uh, let's go and grab some gravel here. And uh, yeah, I do think that we get this crafting table here, the project table from, um, I think it's Bluecraft, that I think does have the same base functionality as the uh, the crafting station in that it retains its inventory even when you're not uh, not about. Uh, thankfully, we got a flint right off the bat there, which I'm very happy about. All right, do we have what it takes to make this? I think we probably do. 
Yeah, nice. All right. So if I'm not mistaken, there are a few recipes that we can do uh, in this. And not only that, but it does act as a nice source of light as well. Uh, but we can also use it to make torches, which is very nice. Right off the bat here, we could throw a stick down and, uh, and get some torches going like that. And I believe the reason for that uh, change is because if we want to make a regular Minecraft furnace, we need, of course, the prerequisite eight cobblestone, but then also uh, a torch in the middle there as well. So uh, that first torch there is going to come in very useful for getting us our first furnace. Uh, I'm not quite sure if you can smelt logs into charcoal. You totally can. Okay, so I guess you could make uh, char uh, torches the old-fashioned way once you have, like, the actual furnace up and running. But for now, chat, I think we can basically just gather some, uh, you know, initial resources, get ourselves some logs, grab uh, some cobblestone, and uh, complete a few of these early uh, early crafts here. And hopefully it won't take us too long. I do want to make a point of um, trying to fully chop down all the trees that I start chopping down. I have in the past left half trees floating in the air. I'm not proud of it yet. I was, uh, you know, I, I, was, uh, I was a fool back then, and I may be a fool again in the future, but for now, let's go uh, get ourselves a chest. We should also, you know, get ourselves like a, a basic you know, pickaxe system going here. And maybe get some cobblestone to upgrade our tools as well. I haven't done... Now, I haven't done too much exploring, like, around the current area that we're in. I almost should, certainly should have got, like, a, uh, a shovel here. That would have made my life a whole heck of a lot easier. But I haven't done too much exploration around our current area, so I'm not quite sure what's... um. What's about? I don't think we have a ton of like world gen mods. I think a lot of the mods in the pack are, are very tech focused and are very focused around uh, automation. Uh, we also do have industrial foregoing, uh, which is what used to be mine factory reloaded back in the day. That has been ported as well and, uh, and is in the pack. I think it's quite a central piece um, of the pack as well. Uh, for now though, let's get ourselves like a cobblestone pick here. And also let's see if we don't have what it takes to uh, complete this, this first quest to craft a, a project table. What do we need here? Project table. For this, we're gonna need three stone, not cobblestone, actual stone, uh, some wood, a uh, chest, and a crafting table, all of which is not too bad. I don't think that any of those recipes have been tweaked too much, and as long as we can get ourselves a uh, furnace, like so, uh, we should be pretty much good to go, chat. So I'll whack you down. Uh, we'll go ahead and start smelting up a little bit of stone there. We do, of course, need three if we're going to get that, uh, that crafting project table. So the project table is basically done. We see some planks there. Kapow. And if I'm not mistaken, this does work in the same way that uh, the crafting station from Tinker's Construct does, in that you can put things in and, and they will retain, you know, their place in the crafting station uh, when you leave. It also has this handy dandy uh, little section for um, just like putting stuff in. It has like its own little inbuilt chest as well, which is very nice. So we can pretty much right away go ahead and retire the vanilla Minecraft crafting table for our new upgraded project table, which I'm very happy about indeed. What else do we have? So we have the uh, Strain Yourself quest. Craft a survivalist strainer and put it in a strainer base next to a water source block. So this is pretty interesting uh, because right off the bat here, um, we can use this to generate some resources passively. So the strainer base itself is pretty easy to make, requiring uh, just two chests, four planks, and two sticks, uh, which we might actually almost be able to do. We might just be a little shy on wood, if anything. But then once we have it, we can put in one of these uh, survivalist strainers. And actually, yeah, we do have everything it takes here. Fantastic. Uh, we can put in one of these survivalist strainers, which is made with four sticks and one string mesh, which is made with four string or four sinew fiber or four flank string. But uh, the idea here is that uh, we can use this to generate these resources. And there are quite a lot here. There is iron nuggets, gold nuggets, osmium nuggets, copper nuggets, tin nuggets, sand, dirt, gravel, raw, bitumen, sticks, clay, Amethysts, Malachite, Sapphires, and Rubies. So quite a few resources there. And each survivalist strainer will get us 120 items. Now, it doesn't give me the percentages. I'm not quite sure if all of these have like an equal amount uh, like of chance to be generated. But uh, we put it down and we'll start generating random items. And we can really make as many of these as we like. So I do think that uh, if it's possible, it would be nice to try and like automate that as soon as we could. So we have like that just constant you know, stream of, of nuggets coming in that we could then, of course, auto-craft into, uh, into ingots and then use to craft, you know, whatever else it is that, we, uh, that we're after. Now, it is getting a little late, which I'm not super thrilled about. I would very much so like to get uh, a bed, potentially. Now, I don't see any sheep too nearby, so I really think, I, I really, you know, I think we might have to just kind of brute force our way through the night here. We could craft up quite a lot of torches um, with our campfire if we do want to keep the mobs, you know, at bay. But uh, real quick, I am going to do a quick... Like a little scout around to see if we can't find any sheep. Now, 
by default, the uh, mod pack does come with a, a map mod, but for whatever reason, the map is not enabled by default. Um, if you press Y on your keyboard, you can go ahead and turn that on. And then I'm going to go ahead and change position and move that over to my top right and uh, confirm that just so we can actually see, you know, where we're going and hopefully make our way back somewhat, uh, somewhat quickly. I do hear a witch giggling away in the distance there, which uh, does not fill me with a whole lot of confidence. Ah, I spy a sheep. Don't crash. Thank you. In an ideal world, of course, we would get three wool here, but knowing my luck, oh, no, I see more sheep. I was going to say, knowing my luck, there'll be only two sheep here. Thankfully, we have been uh, saved. We also do get a little bit of uh, mutton as well, which is definitely going to come in useful for, uh, for keeping us alive from a food standpoint. I do believe that we can cook food on our campfire, if I'm not mistaken. I actually think we can't cook food in a regular furnace. I think that is one of the tweaks that has been made to the mod pack. I think it does tell us that um, in the advancements tab. However, for now, especially given that we do not have mob griefing on, and I felt like I saw a creeper a second ago, I would very much so like to uh, sleep through the night here. Beautiful. Did he set a waypoint at his base? I did not. Uh, yeah, there were creepers over there. All right, let's try and take these guys out. What I don't want is uh, I would rather these guys blow up over here. We could also do with some string, actually, if we can get it. Alas, the one time I want string, I get spider eyes. Fantastic. But what I don't want happening is those guys kind of creeping up on me during the day and uh, and surprising me here. Come on, give me some, some string so I can make this strain up, please. I mean, one string, it's better than no string, chat. From like a strictly mathematical perspective, but uh, from a making a strainer perspective, it really does put us somewhat shy of the actual amount of string that we need. Now, um, you can also, as I mentioned earlier, use sinew fiber and flax string. Now, this sinew fiber here, or dried sinew, you can make it from dried sinew, which can be made by smelting sinew. I'm not quite sure how you get that. There's also, of course, that flax string, which um, I assume can be grown there's flax fiber here, but when I click on this, nothing happens. So I don't know if we can actually find that anywhere. I know usually, though, you can kind of break grass to get flax seeds, but that might not be the same uh, the same case here. Uh, sinew is from animals or monsters. Oh, really? If that's the case, then I'm sorry, my friend, but uh, I need some sinew. I actually did not drop any, and we don't seem to have gotten any from the sheep and or spider slash creepers that we've killed so far. Sinu is killing animals, I think cows. Ooh, okay. I do see, uh, it's a bit weird it's having the, hold on, the minimap right now rotates when I rotate, which is like really disorienting. So I think there is an option to like lock north on here. There is indeed, there we go. That's that, that's much better. Trying to look, trying to like orient, like trying to orientate yourself on a minimap that is also moving when you move. It's horrendous. Now, one thing I did notice actually is that if we want to make string, what we can do is we can use this wool card with any wool to get string. And the wool card is a little expensive. It requires one uh, plank, one stick, and then the fine iron wire, which is made with iron and a diamond draw plate, which is three diamonds and six iron. So a little bit out of our price range right now. But I believe that in this craft, the diamond draw plate isn't used. Or maybe it has like a durability, but I'm fairly certain it's not just a one-time use here. And basically what I'm thinking is if we can get a little sheep farm going, you know, kind of collect them up, grow some wheat, get some, some sheep, we can then get a, hopefully an infinite source of string once we have a wool card, and then essentially an infinite source of string gets us an infinite source of these uh, survival strainers, at which point we then have um, a somewhat finicky, but ultimately infinite source of, you know, iron, gold, osmium, copper, tin, etc. right? And we can hopefully automate that fairly easily. So despite the fact that I have already killed the first like three or four sheep that I, that I saw today, I think it would be wise to try and uh, lure a few back to our back to our like little little base and try and you know use them for wool later on down the line right i think that would be uh, would be very very sensible all right so now that we have some of this uh sinew here what we should be able to do is uh, go ahead and smelt that up in here and i'm hoping we can mix and match when it comes to the string mesh here because we're going to get three of this uh, sinew fiber and then we can use our one string so hopefully we can make those kind of both work at the same time so one two three and four we can indeed good stuff good stuff and then if we do something like this with the four sticks and the string mesh in the middle we get ourselves the uh, very first survivalist strainer uh, there are multiple tiers to the strainer as well we have the uh solid survivalist strainer uh, the only benefit to this because you get the same resources 
Uh, the only benefit to this is that it has more uses. So you'll see this one gets you uh, 720 items before it breaks, uh, whereas the base one only gets you 120. And then, of course, there is the highest tier, the Reinforced Survival Strainer, which gets you 8,640 items uh, before it will break. Uh, alas, this is a little bit more tricky to make, requiring some diamonds. Uh, the solid one requires iron, so it's quite easy to do, actually. And in fairness, going forward, it might be easier for us to make the uh, Survival Strainer, the solid one, than this one, right? Because we're probably going to get quite a bit of iron from mining. Uh, we could, of course, double our walls with Mechanism and a host of other mods, whereas Automatic String could be a little tricky, uh, especially given how far away those, uh, those sheep are there. But uh, if I am not mistaken, Chad, all we have to do here is uh, dig down. So you want to put the Survival Strainer kind of two blocks underwater, like so, with the actual strainer itself uh, right-clicked, like so. So you want to make sure the top part is also submerged. And at that point, we should start generating resources. We have no problems detected, which is good. And any second now, we got a piece of clay. Nice. Not quite, you know, a, an iron nugget or a gold nugget or an osmium nugget, but we got clay, which is real nice. And so that should, uh, you know, slowly but surely while we go and, you know, mine and do other stuff, that should kind of passively generate resources for us. To the point where we come back, we'll have 120 items in here, uh, you know, of all of these different resources. Nice. All right. Quest book wise. Uh, next up, we have Famished. Craft a smoker as you can't cook food in a furnace. So we do have this raw mutton. I do believe that we can cook food on the campfire. However, the um, the smoker here might be a better idea, as I assume the smoker is maybe a bit faster. And it's also not too bad at all. It's uh, four logs and a regular furnace. The regular furnace, a little pricey. Not going to lie. Um, also, I did promise the Twitch chat that I would make this taller which I will definitely do. And also, I am now thinking, as we go down here, we should probably, chat, look at uh, getting some torches, especially given how easy they are to make on the, uh, the old campfire here. I guess the one big downside to the campfire is that you can't really uh, easily collect what comes off it because the items kind of just, you know, pop off when they're done. The second big downside, of course, is that if you're terrible at the game like I am, then you just walk into it every now and again and take unnecessary damage, which, you know, is really not great, but either way. All right, so another furnace, Kapow, and then to make that into the old smoker here, we just need some uh, some planks, which thankfully we have lying around over there. Um, I do wonder if we can, I assume not, but uh, one of the features of the crafting station from Tinker's Construct is it can access adjacent chests. Alas, that is not the case with, um, with this table here. A project table is an enhanced crafting table. It can be used for mass crafting. Oh, really? Uh, put in a template into the crafting grid. Any items used by the crafting will be pulled from the table's inventory. Ooh. So, like, if you wanted to make these, it'll just... Oh, no, okay, I didn't. <laughs> I thought it was going to pull them from there and keep going. Any items used by the crafting will be pulled from the inventory. Do I have to, like, input and output to make that work? I have no idea, chat. That didn't work how I thought it was going to work. <laughs> All right, but uh, we should be able to make this, right? We can. Nice. All right, so for now, we'll put this down, like, right about there. I don't know if we need the campfire anymore, but it does provide um, a nice bit of uh, of light, if nothing else. So uh, we'll leave it around just for me to walk on every now and again, and then we can go and throw, like, all of our raw pork chops into there. Fantastic. So next up here, we have uh, a few crafts. We have uh, one for a backpack. Craft a common backpack. It is upgradable. We have blasting through. Craft a blast furnace as you can't smelt ores in a normal furnace. So we can't use our regular furnace for iron ore and anything like that. We have to use... The blast furnace which is fine and then we have the dankest storage craft a dank one to make mining easier it can be upgraded dank one for that we just need coal and a barrel the barrel is uh planks and slabs okay how are we doing over here we're doing pretty well not quite at the point to have uh, any ingots yet but it's getting there slowly but surely it does still have 98 uses left so again we'll just leave that uh chugging away let's uh, go and see if we can't find some uh, coal here chat we do have zinc which I don't know if that's going to be super useful, but I'll gather it nonetheless. And I did see some iron a little further down as well, so we'll definitely go about uh, grabbing that if we can. All right. So 20 coal should be enough, actually, to uh, to get us our first dank one here, which I think is uh, essentially just like a... Um, kind of also like a backpack, right? Press I to change the mode. Current use type bag. Stack limit 256 and empty. All right. So uh, do we have any more wood? We do not. All right. Let's, uh, first of all... Let's upgrade our hatchet, shall we? To, uh, well, we don't have six, chat. <laughs> First of all, let's chop down one more plank, but then let's upgrade from this, uh, you know, basic wooden axe here to uh, hopefully a uh, slightly more 
sophisticated cobblestone X. Beautiful. And let's get some more, get some more wood. All right, those are all nice and cooked up, which is fantastic. Do we have what it takes to make this guy right here? I think that we most certainly do. So let's make some spruce planks and slabs. And then uh, just a few more here actually should get the trick, should be, should do the trick. So barrel and dank one. All right, so we currently have, there's, there's tag, pick up and saw. Now press I to change mode. Current use type bag. I'm pressing I, nothing's changing now. I wonder if there's like a, uh, potentially a conflict. There does seem to be quite a few conflicts, including the minimap zooming in. Ah, chest, construction, bag. Okay, so I believe in bag mode, we can toggle pick up. And at that point, uh, right now it's not gonna pick these up, I don't think. No, but what you can do is, for example, if we wanted all of our iron ore uh, to go in here, we could do that. And then at that point, if, you know, we go mining and, you know, we break a piece of iron ore, when we pick it up, you'll see that this guy kind of like squeezes a little bit and the iron ore ends up in there. It's a cool little animation, I like it. And so you can kind of keep all of the, either all of your important stuff or I guess potentially also all of your non-important stuff in there. For example, we could put like this cobblestone in and this cobblestone in and you know, gravel in there. We could put everything that we don't want really clogging up our inventory into this, this slot here. Um, and it does have quite a bit of space as well. The stack limit is 256. So I would assume that you can have up to 256 of each item in each slot there, potentially as well. Uh, was it void after a stack though? After four stacks then? Um, I'm actually not sure. I know you can get the uh, the dank null, which I don't think we have in the pack, but, or maybe we do have it in the pack, I'm not sure. But um, I know that used to be a thing that worked. I don't think it will void any items. I could be wrong about that, but I think what it will probably do is just start filling up your inventory. I think for the most part, most part, this is just a, basically an extended inventory. And I think it serves a similar purpose to the backpack that the pack also wants us to make. It will, like it will void items. Or it will, uh, are we sure? Dank storage, dank one. I know the dank null used to void items. I don't know if dank one does. We'll find out, I guess. Um, for now, we'll use it to store, you know, things that we don't want. And we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So next up, let's see if we can make this uh, blast furnace here, chat. So for that, we actually need some iron. We need a furnace and we need smooth stone. So how do we go about making this then? Do we actually have to get enough iron from our strainers to make a blast furnace? I think we might because we can't mm, smelt iron, right? I guess maybe we can, maybe we can, no, we can't. I was going to say, maybe we can make, like, maybe we can grind it down in some way, shape, or form. Do we have a grinder? We have a grindstone from Minecraft, although I don't think that's going to quite do the trick. Let me have a look at uh, iron ore here and see if there's another way that we can make this happen. There doesn't seem to be, which leads me to believe that we might actually have to uh, gather enough iron nuggets from our strainers to make five iron ingots. At that point, we could then, of course, craft up the blast furnace and smelt from there. All right, so it does seem like we are going to have to get more strainers to make this work. All right, that's very doable, chat. That is very, very doable. Um, it does make me think that we should uh, potentially start growing some wheat. We do have seeds, right? We've got one seed. Uh, we should potentially start growing some wheat, and we should maybe try and bring those... Ah, it may, maybe it's not worth it, bringing the sheep over. Although, maybe it is. I think it's maybe not worth it because we can't get the wall card until we have diamonds. And at that point, maybe we don't need it because uh, at that point we can you know, just smell iron and make iron strainers. So it seems unnecessary to try and get the uh, automated string. But other than that, how are we going to get so much string, chat? Is a good question. So you can make a fisherman strainer and the fisherman strainer you know, does the same thing, but produces different results, including string. However, it does require four string to get going. But I would assume if this produces 120 uses, and there are what, 5, 10, 13 items here? If all of these have an equal chance, that means you'd expect to get about nine of each item. They don't have equal chance. I see. The string is only 15%. Mm, okay, <laughs> that is good to know. Let me check the original here. 
What are the odds on uh, on this guy? Ah, oh, I see. So the nuggets are actually a lot higher than uh, than some of the other items. Like the uh, the gems there at the bottom are a little lower. Okay. Isaac, I have a helpful tip. Don't step in the campfire. It's hot and it hurts. Wait, what? <laughs> Thank you for the for the helpful helpful insight. I will try and bear this in mind. Uh, you can murder animals for sinew, so it's worth it to breed them. That's a fair point, actually. Yeah. You know what? Sure. Let's um let's try and get some some more seeds, and let's try and get like a basic little wheat farm going. Even if it doesn't end up being too helpful with the uh, the animals, we can of course always use it um, as just kind of a passive food supply as well, right? So, sure. Um. Also, before I forget, chat, let's go and put down a, a waypoint over here. Before I forget, waypoint, new waypoint, home, sweet home, beautiful. All right, let's go get some seeds. And then also kill any animals we find along the way as well. Oh, I see a lot of grass over here, chat. This is going to be uh, seed central. It's also probably worth us getting some sugarcane going. Uh, I'm now noticing as I get closer that that there is indeed not sugarcane, but I believe that over there to the left is sugarcane. Because, um, of course, we do that sugarcane if we're going to get the uh, fisherman's net, which might be useful to get. Let me check that out again real quick here. It does get us enchants, which could be nice. And also things like leather and bones could be quite good as well before we get a um, an actual mob spawn open ring. Just have those being passively made could be nice. And also, you know, just getting string back as well, um, even if the chance of getting it is not super high, is uh, is also nice. So, and I'm, and I'm sure we're going to need, you know, paper and uh, and all that stuff as well going forward. So having a sugarcane farm going sooner rather than later seems very useful. No sin, anyway. Oh, I see a village as well. We could quite easily get some uh, some resources up there and i also see a plethora of pigs what's the uh, the plural of pigs chat a pack of pigs a flock of pigs hello my friend i hope these are not your pigs my friend if they are you're going to be uh, sorely disappointed in the uh, in the outcome here a pig style of pigs what's the uh, what's what's the what's the plural of pigs hmm it's interesting. I actually have no idea. All right. Does this village have anything? Oh, this is quite the sprawling village, eh? I don't know if uh, I don't know if it, I would. Oh my goodness! I don't know if I would call it sensible to build your village over <laughs> a ravine like that. Can you craft hay bales back into uh, into wheat? You totally can. I'm gonna take all this because we can use this to uh, to breed animals, and then we, therefore we don't have to you know craft that. Uh, I have to grow the wheat manually, which would be very nice indeed. New waypoint, add village. Boom. All right. We should probably head back. It is getting a little dark. I do see an iron golem, which is interesting. Uh, we do have four sinew here. And uh, if we get three, you know, quote unquote string per sinew, uh, that means that we do have 12 here. So we can make, uh, you know, three more, three more strainers. Kill the uh, golem for iron? We could. However, I think we would almost certainly die. How much iron do iron golems drop, chat? Hit once and pillar three blocks up. They can't reach you then. Five iron, four to six ingots? <laughs> are you guys just saying that because you know I need five ingots? Or are you saying that because it's factually accurate? Either way, I'm intrigued. So chat is telling me that I should... Try and kill this iron golem that we found by the village to or in order to get uh, in order to get the iron that we need. So uh, we did get some sweet berries while we're out, and all the chat has also told me. Uh, hold on, hold up. Again, don't want that guy blowing my uh, blowing my base up. Uh, but we can grow these sweet berries if we just plant them down. So for now, we'll do one, two, three, four, and uh, those are going to slowly but surely turn into berry bushes, which are basically an infinite source of food for us, which is very nice indeed. Um, but we do have. A couple of, uh, of ingots worth of iron in there, which is also very nice. And we'll also uh, begin growing our sugar cane as well. So let's plant that down. And before I go, I think I will also start growing some wheat as well. Despite the fact that we do have um, quite a lot of wheat in, uh, in the form of hay bales there. We might as well put some of these uh, wheat seeds that we have uh, to good use as well. And uh, in fact, I think, yeah, we do have some cobblestone in there. Beautiful. Let's uh, go plant some wheat, uh, wheat seeds, Jen. It's not going to be the most elegant system in the world, but I think for now, if we just do something like this, I just plant these down. Like that. 
Nice. All right, so let's um, <laughs> let's get rid of stuff we don't want to lose here, and uh, let's go see if we can't uh, can't kill an iron golem, shall we? And I'm gonna make a new sword because I was a little on the weak side, and by the weak side I mean it's almost broken. And yeah, let's uh, let's give it a go, shall we? Okay, where's our? Here he is. I see you, my friend. This would be a little easier if I had a bow. Because I like I want to be able to sh like getting the first shot on him is gonna be is gonna be tricky. Hello, my friend. I'm gonna be up here if you don't mind. No, come here. Hello. Fight me. Oh, chat. Chat. Piece of cake. Look at this. They've got a new animation for the, the iron golems taking damage. That is very cool. <laughs> Three ingots is not a crazy amount, but combined with the nuggets that we have back at base, chat. That is definitely enough nuggets uh, to get our first blast furnace up and running. And that blast furnace is going to allow us to make all of the uh, iron ore that we have into iron nuggets. So we are we are basically good to go. So we got 19 iron nuggets. The, uh, the strainer is now fully depleted. However, we can take those iron nuggets back over here, craft those up into uh, two iron ingots. And chat, that should be pretty much everything it takes to make the, uh, the blast furnace here. We do, of course, um, have to take our regular furnace. And for now... I, th I feel like we could break this one, but I think it's probably going to be uh, more sensible for us to just go and get more cobblestone because we do still need this one uh, to craft, uh, to smelt regular items like we're doing right now. And uh, we also do have to get some more cobblestone to, uh, to smelt this stone because to make the blast furnace, we also need uh, some smooth stone down here at the bottom also. So more stone is required all around. You haven't gotten smooth stone? If I'm not mistaken, smooth stone is regular stone smelted, right? You smelt cobblestone into uh, into stone, then you smelt smooth stone, a uh, cobblestone into smooth stone, right? I think. We'll give it a try. I'm gonna smelt up three stone there. While that's smelting up, let's craft up our sinew here and make some more of these meshes. Beautiful. Good stuff. We um we could make more strainers as well, that's for sure. We might definitely, yeah, we definitely do have what it takes to make at least one more strainer. Um, I don't know if we need to make a ton of strainers, simply due to the fact that um, we don't have that many... Oh, are they called strainers? Strainer bases. We could make more strainer bases. I don't know if it's really worth making too many of them, uh, simply due to the fact that I don't think we're going to be able to make the uh, actual strainers themselves fast enough to fill, like, you know, five of these. So um, until we get a better way to make, you know, the actual strainers themselves. Like once we get to the point where we can make these ones, like the, the solid survival strainers, which shouldn't be too bad. And um, at that point, we can look into, uh, you know, upgrading the number of of strainer bases that we have. For now, though, I think just having two sitting over here should be uh, should be fine. Now, I know in some packs these have th these like get a, 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 an efficiency negative. There is an efficiency meter in the pack. And I believe if you place these right next to each other, they do get like a debuff to their efficiency, which I think likely just makes them slower. Now you can also get, let's have a look at, uh, what's the mod pack called? You can also get bait pots, which decrease bait consumption. So the bait can be used as bait. Decreases bait consumption. I don't remember the way bait works chat in here. Do we need bait? You need bait for other strainers, bait for the fisherman strainer. Oh, I see. So if we want to use the fisherman strainer, we might need to use bait alongside it. Interesting. But you can use the garden trowel here with dirt to get worms, which you can then put in there, and then you can use the bait pot to reduce the use of worms. Okay, interesting. For now, though, we actually don't need to use that, so that's fine, and we're still getting all of our resources, which is very nice indeed. So uh, let's sleep. Let's see if we can't make this uh, blast furnace. I think we're pretty close to being there, chat. So I believe we just re-smelt this into uh, smooth stone. We can indeed. Good stuff. And then once that's done, we can do this uh, we do of course have to get another regular minecraft furnace so let's get some more torches going on the old uh, campfire there beautiful and then i think we're pretty much there chat i think finally <laughs> we are pretty much there we see this one more piece of smooth stone And an hour and 15 minutes into the mod pack, we can finally start to uh, to actually smelt our walls. Look at that. Boom. All right. So we'll throw this down for, for now, like right about there. And then uh, we'll go ahead and, of course, throw in 
all of our iron ore and uh, some of our coal as well to get that going. What is the next quest here? So next up we have alloying. Uh, craft an alloy furnace. The draw plate to craft copper wire doesn't get used up. So if we want to make an alloy furnace, this one here from Blue Power, presumably, uh, we do need that copper coil. To make the copper coil, we need the fine copper wiring, which is where the diamond draw plate comes in. So we do have to get at least three diamonds before we can make this alloy furnace. So we are going to have to do some mining. But the key thing to take away is that the draw plate to craft the copper wire doesn't get used up. And so I assume, based on that, that that same draw plate doesn't get used up when making the iron wire, which is what we need to make the wall card, which we could then, of course, use to make more uh, meshes going forward if we wanted to. So I think for now, though, chat, it's probably time to uh, to get ourselves an iron pick and to uh, head on down for some mining. So we will uh, configure our dank to pick up all the stuff we don't want to, uh, to hold in our inventory. We'll do the same uh, with cobblestone as well. Uh, so the, the way this works, according to chat, is that it's going to fill up um, up to 256 of uh, all of these items. So once we get uh, 256 cobblestone, at that point, it's going to void any excess cobblestone that we pick up, which I think is completely fine. I don't think we're going to need uh, more than 256 cobblestone, you know, or dirt or gravel or, you know, slate cobblestone or anything like that. So I think that is um, A-OK -okay in my book. We could probably also do the same with, like, sand, even though I don't think we're going to really find sand uh, down, in the, uh, down in the mines here. Uh, let's, for now, put the blast furnace, like, right... Uh, not there. I was going to put it on top of the uh, regular furnace, if we could. Like that. Just temporarily. And we'll also get rid of some of the other stuff here that we definitely uh, do not need to be carrying around with us at this moment uh, in time. And we will also, chat, go ahead and, uh, I think, make quite a few more sticks before we head down. Because otherwise, it's going to be a real dark. All right, 20 torches. Not a crazy number of torches, but uh, should be enough for now. We don't need to be carrying this uh, the one probe around either. And uh, I think other than that, we're pretty much good to go. I should probably make at least one more cobble pick because I think for now we're going to be using the cobble pick uh, for most of our strip mining and, and hopefully saving uh, the iron pick for, uh, you know, more for um, the ores that need it, diamond, redstone, etc. Uh, what are those new buttons next to the inventory? Quick transfer of items. Oh, um, here? I think this is organize your, your items by A to Z. So like the Dankin all begins with D and the stone axe begins with S. So this button here and this button here will organize your inventory in alphabetical order. I believe that is what that does. Nice little uh, handy feature there. I wish you, there was like, th there are mods that add more options than this. And I, I'm, I much prefer having my inventories organized by like items that I have the most of to items that I have the least of. But, you know, I much prefer having the option to filter by A to Z than having no options at all, right? No vein mining? Unfortunately, no vein mining, no. We do have better, like, axes and pickaxes we can make later, which have, like, pseudo vein mining abilities, but uh, alas, right now, in the early game at least, I believe we have to go with the, uh, the good old-fashioned, just, uh, you know, standard vanilla Minecraft mi uh, mining. We're definitely going to need osmium. I know the, uh, the metallurgic infuser is one of the earliest uh, items that we are going to have to craft. And I should probably also put down, like, a few torches here. Just to stop any mobs, you know, sneaking up on us while we're uh, while we're mining away. Green ore behind you. Did I miss like a a uranium ore or something? Oh, there is like there's an ore up here, isn't there? What's this? Oh, it is uranium ore from power. It's poor uranium ore. Raw uranium. Uh, your raw uranite. Poor. Okay. What uh, what wild level are we at? We're at wild level forty seven. It's uh, under the mini map there. For those wondering. I have seen bauxite in a few recipes, so I'm also going to grab this as well. Normally, I would uh, avoid certain ores that I know are not particularly useful, but uh, given that the progression has been tweaked, I feel like we're going to need most of the ores that we come across in this pack, so I will try and grab uh, really as many as we can. For the actual progress uh, progression, though, we do need uh, copper, we need diamonds, and uh, we need iron. So those are kind of the big ones that we're actively searching for. I do see a creeper ready to, right there, ready to jump down on me as soon as I get close. And, uh, and ruin my day. We don't have to keep inventory. I don't even know if we have any kind of grave mod chat. And that being like a mod that, you know, holds our items on death. I would be rather saddened if we did not. As that would make it significantly more difficult for me to get my, my wares back in the event of a, uh, a malfunction. Bauxite is aluminum, of course. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. You should die to test it. I'm not going to die to... I mean, I'm most... I'm fairly certain I'm going to die fairly soon anyway. 
Well, I hope not, actually. I hope we don't die at all in this mud pack, but that would be a lofty goal. That I... Did you guys hear that? Like a crow or something. But um, <laughs> if possible, I would like to, to not die. And then hopefully, you know, we can we can make that, that dream a reality. All right, so we came in kind of like over here. We should definitely set up some kind of like uh, staircase maybe. But I think we'll just start to dig down here. Because it looks like the ravine doesn't go much lower. And we are quite quite high up still. We need to get uh, a little lower to uh, find what we're after. Don't worry, they're gravestones. Ah, good, good, good. Okay, that, uh, that gives me more confidence, chat. Okay, we are picking up more stuff that we don't really need right here. So I'm, I'm thinking that we can add to our, our Dankanol. We can put granite in there. Uh, we can put diorite in there. I'm going to get rid of sand. Like we don't, We're don't, we not going to get any sand down here, right? So there's no point adding that. Um, andesite we can add there. And then Genesis cobblestone we can also add there. There's a lot of stuff here that we... Uh, and also, not pork chops. <laughs> but there's a lot of stuff here that we don't need to be... Uh, carrying around with us that we are currently carrying around with us so let's try and get rid of some of that shall we oh hello we have diamonds chat we have diamonds quite a few of them as well very nice i want to do a quick check to see if there was any like lava about thankfully there is not nice all right so seven diamonds right out of the gate very happy about that so if we're looking to make this alloy furnace, what do we need here? We need bricks, which is a lot of clay. Thankfully, we are near quite a bit of uh, water, so getting clay shouldn't be too difficult for us. And we also do get clay as a, a byproduct from our strainers. Uh, on top of that, we also have the copper coil, which needs iron bars, so quite a bit of iron. Again, we have that. And then the uh, the fine copper wire, which is copper ingots and diamond draw plates. The diamond draw plate we should now be able to make. And um, I think we are going to have to head quite a bit further up to find copper. If I'm not mistaken, copper usually spawns in uh, kind of above Y levels, like 30, 40, 50 ish. So I don't know if it tells us in JI. It does not. Oh, it does. It tells us here. Spawns, yeah, at Y levels 40 to 90. So if we're going to find the uh, silent mechanisms copper, we need to go quite a bit uh, further up, which we're definitely going to have to do if we want to get uh, this uh, this fine copper wire here. So I think for now, uh, we can kind of back out of this mine and go and try and find some copper. Eh? I'm seeing a surprising lack of, of copper. Am I looking for the wrong color? No, I, I thought for a second, sometimes copper ore is green. I was just checking that wasn't the case in this pack. The copper ore is indeed quite orange. Maybe I'm too low down, chat. Y level 46 technically does fall within the range, but maybe I need to be like much higher up. You know, like Y level 70 maybe. Oh gosh, I hear uh, zombies as well, like through the wall to the left here. So maybe there are, there could be a spawner, but I think it's more like there's just like a, an open area back there. Uh, let's make another iron axe. Um, we could make an iron sword, which I think is probably definitely worth it, chat. If we're going to try and fight these, uh, mobs. Especially if we, uh, try and fight the Enderman. There we go. There's the copper. Hiding under the zinc, chat. Nice. All right. Uh, let's have a look real quick. How much do we need for the alloy furnace? So if we're going to make, and it is the one from Blue Power, right? It is indeed. Okay, so if we're going to make this one, uh, we need a bunch of clay. And then copper-wise, we need four copper ingots. So uh, the four copper ore is actually perfect. Um, excuse me, my friend. <laughs> that was not a very nice thing to do. Um, I see that you are simply protecting your oil reserves. However, I would like to uh, take those oil reserves. Now, I don't want to die here, chat, right? That's kind of a goal of mine right now is to not die here. Hello, my friend. I would like your string. Oh. That's... <laughs> that's a little, a little glitchy, eh? Come on, get in the oil. I don't like my odds here, chat. Hello. Or maybe I do like my odds. Yeah, no chat, I'm fine. I'm fine. As long as we don't activate that Enderman, we're like totally fine. I'm out of torches. Don't, don't make eye contact. Pretend you're on the London Underground chat. Don't make any eye contact with anybody or any public transport in the UK is fine. Just don't make any eye contact and you'll be fine. You'll get through this chat. You'll get through this. 
the oil is cheating. I don't think it's cheating. Like, I don't think you can see through anything. I think it's just like broken. Like, oh, it's just very <laughs> bright down there. I mean, we, we can't fight this Enderman, can we? I was going to say maybe we could take him. But we definitely can't. Given our lack of, of armor, if we had like any armor whatsoever, we might be able to take him. But given our current complete and utter lack of armor, and there's so much lava, but given our complete and utter lack of any armor whatsoever, I really don't think we have anywhere near the uh, the tools at our disposal to end to end this Enderman. Did I make an iron sword? I totally did, you fool. We can also take this marble as well. I do like building out of marble, so we could probably take this to do some, some building with in the future. For now, though, I do see that in that zombie coming at me. Hello, my friend. Goodbye, my friend. Just don't let him hit you. Stand in a too tall space. People always tell me to do this, and then, <laughs> and then I always die. Like, they still get me. I mean, I'll, you know, I'll try it, chat. I'm, I'm nothing if not somebody who tries things. Nope. <laughs> um, like, can I stand, like, back here, maybe? Come on. Oh, he's done it. Give me an ender pearl. Oh, he's done it. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'm learning, chat. I'm learning. I'm getting, I'm slowly getting better at this game that I've been playing for the last 10 years. Here we go. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's get out of here, shall we? Yeah. Four copper is not a crazy amount, but I think it's enough to get this, uh, this alloy furnace going here. We can head back. We can dump some of our inventory. We can re refuel up on food and tools and we can, uh, get some progress going, shall we? Any bets on him dying today? I don't think I'm going to die today, chat. What time is it? We've got not long left, actually, on the stream. Let's sleep. Beautiful. Oh, no. That's not where I meant to go, but it, it works. I'll place a bet with you, chat. Get out of here. I will, uh, I will give out a free, a random gift sub if I die before the end of this stream. And that's, uh, that's, that's the Isaac guarantee. Because I'm, I'm confident, chat. I'm confident that I ain't dying today. Here we go. Hi, I enjoy your instructional slash informative videos. Why, thank you, my friend. I'm glad you're liking them. Please don't blow my sugar cane. I would very much like it if my sugar cane remained intact. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll take that bet. I mean, it's not really much of a bet, is it? But yeah, sure. <laughs> nope. Oh! Of course, chat. Of course. I'm down one. Gosh, dang it. Oh, my goodness. All right. All right. Hold up. Gift a sub. Here we go. Tier one. Gift one sub. Boom. And boom. All right. Who's going to be the lucky, the lucky someone? Well done. <laughs> oh, congratulations to... Uh, Dracon Mega Nine for being the random recipient of that uh, of that gift sub. All right, let's dump some of our inventory here, chat. That we don't need. Uh, let's start smelting up the uh, the copper, I guess. We'll throw that up there, and then uh, let's see how many clay do we have. We have got nine clay in here, and then eight clay there. So yeah, quite not quite enough. Um, if we're gonna make the alloy furnace, I'll go ahead and bookmark this. We need uh, eight bricks uh, to make that. We of course need uh, thirty two brick. Uh, which means we need 32 clay right now. We have 17, and so we are going to need a little bit more. But again, thankfully, uh, we are quite close to uh, the bottom of this river. So getting more clay here should be uh, fairly easy to do. All right, 41 is uh, is more than enough. So I'll throw all those into the uh, the regular furnace here. Uh, I'll throw 32 in. There's no reason to cook any of the uh, extra for now. So we'll just whack all that in there uh, with a little bit of extra uh, spruce planks to get that cooking away. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, the copper is done. Um, now, do we need... Okay, so we need six iron ingots and three diamonds to make the uh, the actual cutter. So let's get the iron going as well here. And I think, chat, that we're pretty close, actually. We got the iron bar soon. How are we doing with uh, meshes? Our meshes are gone, so we should definitely go and uh, stick this guy in over here. Um, but we could also look at making our very first iron strainer, aka the uh, solid survivalist strainer, um, which does get us you know, significantly more. That's like, what, over five times as much in terms of um, resources? And we are going to have extra iron bars left here. So yeah, I think I will actually chat. I think I will make 
this um this next tier of strainer. All right, so six iron and three diamonds gets us the old uh, diamond draw plates. We can then craft that with our copper ingots here to get the fine copper wire. And then from there, we should be able to craft that with the uh, iron plates and iron, oh, sorry, iron bars and iron ingots to get the old copper coil. The diamond draw plate does have durability, but it looks like it has quite a large amount of durability. So that is very nice indeed. Um, again, I wonder if we can, so can we, Chen, now? I guess we can, right? I guess we can craft like this draw plate with iron to get the uh, fine iron wire. Uh, we could then craft the fine iron wire with a plank and a stick. And that would get us the old wall maker, aka the wall card. And at that point, we can then take some of the, uh, you know, rather large amount of wool that we have, craft that with the wall card. And get us more wool for making more strainers. Again, we are now at the point where we don't necessarily need it as much because we can now, uh, you know, go ahead and make these upgraded tiers of strainers, which are significantly better and also, you know, significantly easier to make. And, uh, you know, they get us, like I say, over five times as much stuff. But, you know, we have it there. Um, if we need more string, we can always use that uh, that wall cutter uh, in the future. And uh, we've got that diamond draw plate nonetheless. So uh, how are we doing on this? We're about halfway there on the old bricks. But other than that, we're pretty much good to go. And then after that, we're going to get the uh, metallurgic infuser. How hard is the metallurgic infuser? I'll bookmark this as well. So this, I assume we're going to go with the bottom recipe because we don't currently have what it takes to make the control circuit. So, copper coil, four bronze ingots, so I assume we do that with uh, tin and copper in the alloy smelter, four red alloy ingot, which is redstone and either iron or copper, and then purple alloy ingot, which is gold and the uh, tesla type there, or red alloy and blue alloy, but I assume we're going to go and find some uh, tesla type, which, uh, whereabouts is that? It's between Y levels 1 and 20, so we are going to have to go and do some more of that, that kind of diamond level mining but not a problem and the blast furnace so the metallurgy infuser not actually too bad chat and then at that point we of course need to get ourselves some kind of um you know power generation but at that point we're cooking with uh, with actual machines but we have four bricks chat so that's uh that taken care of at that point we can then go ahead and of course craft that up like so with the old copper coil in the middle and boom we have an alloy furnace nice so um again for now we'll throw this down maybe like over here we could probably do getting rid of some of these trees to make a bit more space but uh here we have our alloy furnace which i believe does run on uh, regular old fuel. And uh, so now we should be able to craft uh, certain ingots together. For example, I'm fairly certain that if we were to combine copper and uh, tin together, three copper, one tin, with some fuel, we can get bronze. Nice. And as you can see, we've now uh, expanded out quite a bit here. So we have the metallurgic infuser, which is going to move on into uh, all doubling with the enrichment chamber, which also makes our metallurgic infuser more efficient. Uh, we also have even better alloying. If we craft a basic alloy smelter, I believe this is from uh, silent mechanisms as opposed to the one we have now which is from blue power this one uses red flux but can be sped up and then we also have power like storing power from the power mod we have never gonna give you up travel to the nether mine obsidian with a diamond or steel pickaxe and then we do have chat the crafting calculator mod in the pack 